back to my channel as so by Cleo and as you can tell from the title you can tell from this look I am dedicating this pink look to breast cancer awareness month I just wanted to do my due diligence do my part to spread awareness and I decided to do it with this look my birth mother is well she was diagnosed with cancer some years ago and she is a survivor and I thank God for that However, I lost a mom, someone that was a mother figure to me, to breast cancer. So this month is like really, really bittersweet and both of their birthdays are in this month. So this month is very, very bittersweet for me. I just want to say to those um, with fighting breast cancer or dealing with breast cancer or those who have relatives that have breast cancer I just want to say to stay strong I want you to be strong as possible God has to fight and say and like I, I really can't find the words and I'm trying not to get emotional because this is like the the third time that I tried to do this intro for you guys but throughout the video I will try my best to include some motivational quotes on what I want to say, what I wanted to say in this beginning part, but it's just not coming to me. Without further ado, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, share this video, and let's get ready. Alright guys, so let's get right into this video. We are about to zoom in so that you can see all the detail. I will be using the Bella Sweetest Valentine's Day palette. This is very, very familiar on my channel. I have used this a whole heap of time. And yeah, without further ado, let's get started. Alright guys, so I honestly don't know what type of look I'm going for today I am just going with the flow I'm just going with the flow I'm just winging it I did my brows off camera I do want to give you guys a updated brow tutorial I am really liking on my brows look today and this is going to be like my first beat like my first full makeup since um the whole mask mandate thing has been lifted so I'm really excited to do this video. I'm excited to do this video for you guys. And I'm just like excited to be on camera again. Like my face looking a little good. I still have, you know, problem areas. But yeah, and I'm just excited to like get into the group of things. Yeah, I have like my 9 to 5. But my 9 to 5 takes up a lot of my time. A lot of my time. Um... I do have a video coming out, I don't know if it's going to be before or after this, that I'm going to do like an updated get to know me video for those of you who have not seen my original one. Now let's get right into this because y'all know me, I could ramble all day. So this is how the palette looks. I think I'm going to go in first with this shade right here and the name of this shade is Love Bug. I am going to take this brush right here and I am going to buff this color love bug into the crease and as you can see I still have some concealer on my crease from when I did um, my brows so the crease area is ready for shadow it should come off nice and pigmented and this is just like one one and a half dabs and you can see how pigmented the color is already I'm just going to keep blending back and forth back and forth And it is much easier for me to go from left to right with my eyes or right to left than for me to do one eye off camera and then 
come back and get the other eye because I'm not even gonna lie I'm gonna forget what I did I'm going to forget what I did and the eye that you guys get on camera is not is not going to look the same all right guys so that is in the crease Now I'm going to take this brush. Now this brush is a little bit fluffier. You can see it has some colors on it. My brushes are a bit dirty. Um, This one is like a bit looser than the first brush that I use. This one is like a bit more compact. And I am going to go in with the shade right here. And the name of this shade is First Kiss. I am going to take this shade First Kiss. On the top of our first shade love bug just to blend it out Tries to cover up her pain and cut her woes away. Cause cover girls don't cry after the face is made. I noticed that colors that are closer to white, you know, white, yellow, um, this light pink, it's very, very easy for them to come off more chalky than than darker colors. Now I'm going to do the same thing, the same thing to the other eye. Just want to continue to blend. Alright guys, so we have this awesome transition going on right now and I know this look is for Breast Cancer Awareness Month but I do want to add just a little bit of depth to this look. So I am going to go in with this shade right here and the name of this shade is Cuddle. I am going to use this like it's a fluffy pointed brush if you will. And I'm going to take Cuddle into my outer corner and I'm going to focus that in one specific area. So that's why I am using this brush because it has somewhat of a point to it. So as you can see I'm adding just a little bit of depth to this look we do not want to take away from the paint because um like i mentioned before this is for breast cancer awareness now to me it seems already already blended like it's blended really really well i'm going to take the brush that we had our first color on which is love bug and i am going to lightly blend or merge the two colors together now I'm going to go back in with cuddle and it's just about blending and layering guys blending and layering blending and layering blending and layering trust me once you do that you should be you should be good I'm going to do the same thing to the other side I 
all right guys oh my gosh i think this looks really really nice now we are going to use concealer i am going to use concealer and the concealer of my choice is the la girl pro concealer and this is in the shade almond that is the exact same shade that i use to do my eyebrows and i am going to cut my crease with this shade Now, those of you who want like more of a cleaner look, you can clean the lid before applying this concealer. But because I am going to put pink, um, pink eyeshadow on top of this, I do not mind if my concealer turns pink on me. Alright guys, so now that the crease is cut, I am going to go back in with the shade Cuddle, which was our deepest shade, and I am going to bring Cuddle in on an angle. So we took it out, now I'm going to bring it in, so it's basically mimicking a triangle shape. And that's basically it. I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. All right. So, in that little piece that is like shooting into cuddle. I'm going to take Love Bug, which was the first shade that we used, that is up here, and I'm going to put it into that little um, piece that is pointing into cu to cuddle. I'm going to put a door on my inner lid, and on top of a door, I'm going to apply Lost in Love. So as I go, I will be seeing them again. As I go along, I will be saying them again because I know I probably did not make sense just now. But, yeah. So, because this piece is so small, I'm going to need a very, very small brush. So, I'm going to use this one. And I'm taking Love Bug. And I'm going to take my time. And I'm going to tap that right inside. I'm going to take a flat brush, something a little bit bigger than what I just used, and I am going to put a door, I'm going to show you it, I am going to put a door all over the lid, and it's a very light rosy pink color that matches my outfit perfectly. Alright, so you can see that um, Love Bug and Adore is looking a bit harsh. So I'm going to take the small brush that I applied Love Bug with and I'm just going to lightly go over Adore just so that it blends a little bit better. And as you can see, it is starting to fade right into that color fading right in notice that like on this eye 
um, the color is taking over too much. Love bug is taking over a little bit too much for me. So I'm going to go back in with a door and just pat over that again. And it's just about going back and forth, back and forth until you get a seamless blend. Now I just need one more brush. And with this brush, this is the brush I decided to use. With this brush, I am going to take Lost in Love. And Lost in Love is a light pink shimmer shade. And I am going to lightly dab that on top of a door. I don't know if you guys can see that, but for me, it is giving, okay? It's giving. All right, guys, so that is it for the eyes. I will not be doing my foundation in this video, unfortunately, because I have lots of videos out with my foundation routine. I have not changed any of my products so far. I do hope to change them like in the near future but as of right now I'm using the same products so I will I will come back to you guys with the finished face and my outfit to match Thank you.